Alrighty guys, Jesslyn Strider here, and welcome to what will be my first on-stream RimWorld Colony. I'm about 50 hours in this game so far, because I've been playing it a lot recently. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and even though I've only been playing it for a little bit, only like a couple days, like a day and a bit, I've already created a couple of custom scenarios for me to use in the future. And I don't have any of the DLC. Because I was watching a couple other streamers play it, mainly Jareva and Simcopter1. They were playing, well, Simcopter1 played with Royalty f once. And then both Sim and Ava play, are playing with Ideology. And after seeing it, it's not really something I'm not entirely interested in. Not something I want to jump into right away. And especially since I'm so new to the game still, I'm just, I'm still learning vanilla mechanics. So... The fact, and in, I don't want to install a DLC, add a new layer of new rules, new game, and new game mechanics, when I'm still learning the vanilla game. Now I did have a past colony that ended up starving to death. We got along pretty good well. It was the uh, it was it, one of my custom scenarios. Instead of two rich explorers it's or instead of one rich explorer it's two because starting with one person fucking sucks. So I edited a little bit. It's two people, no starting pet, and uh, only two bolt action rifles instead of two charger rifles. So yeah, no tame, and slightly less powerful weaponry to kind of balance it out, and everything else is vanilla to one rich explorer. However, well first I deleted all those saves to clear up space in the save so it's not clogging them. And my second one is a lone survivor of a high-tech space-bound infantry transport where pretty much you were boarded and swarmed by enemies and you weren't giving a, given a lot of time to react so the captain called to abandon the ship and you were barely able to get to the escape pods before the turrets as the turrets held the enemy off and after narrowly avoiding the enemy pod hunters that hunted down the rest of your crew, crash land on an unknown rim world, and the escape pod has some um, some medicine and some package survival meals. But you have to think fast about long-term survival. Now, since it's a high-tech infantry, since it was a high-tech infantry transport, you start with plasteel armor, a minigun, and but no research. No silver, no wood, nothing. Nothing else. Just some medicine, some food that was in the drop pod, and nothing else. You'll have to do research from scratch. You have no silver, no gold, no wood, nothing. So yeah. Raids will, the first few early game raids will be fine because it's going to be a dude in juggernaut armor with a mini gun against people with sharp sticks right <laughs> but as the day but as the game goes on i can imagine it'll get more and more difficult especially once the enemy starts using ranged weapons themselves hey crazy eyed what's so hello wraith how many colonists are going to die well depending on how this start goes only one because I'm using one of my custom scenarios. And this is the custom scenario I used for my off-stream thing that ended up starving to death. Let's not worry about that. It's pretty much one rich explorer, but two people, and no tamed pet, and only bolt-action rifles. One is not enough. Well, I don't know, maybe we'll end up recruiting a raider or something. I'm only going to be on Classic Cassandra, going to be kind of middle of the road difficulty. Middle of the road difficulty. 
So, clearly, Crazy Eyes and Wraith already know what this game is. Or for those of you who don't know, the d difficulty of the game is broken down into three vanilla AI storytellers. I say vanilla because people have made modded storytellers before. And... Each storyteller can be set to one of these one of these difficulties, or you can fine-tune the difficulty to your liking. So, the difficulty in this game is highly modular, which kinda makes it very appealing to someone like me, because Battletech's career mode difficulty is also highly modular. Not as deeply as this, but you can still choose certain options in Battletech, so... That's actually pretty cool, how you can customize your difficulty to your liking. Classic Cassandra, as you can tell by her name, is kind of the default gradual difficulty increase. It's like a gradual difficulty curve where she throws a bunch of stuff at you, then you get a little bit of time to relax and recover, and then she does it again. Occasionally getting harder and harder each time. And this is what I played. This is the storyteller I played with first. As far as I could tell, based off of other streamers, Phoebe Chillax is pretty much the same thing as Cassandra, but with longer downtime. But of course, at higher difficulties, she can be just as mean. And Randy Random is the person is the personification of a random number generator. He does whatever the fuck he wants with no regards to your actual colony. So careful if you roll with this guy. He. Like I said, does whatever the fuck he wants and he doesn't give a crap about it. Yeah, it's all drama to him. But no, we'll just play with Cassandra Classic, Adventure Story, Middle of the Road Difficulty. So fuck him and his stuff, yeah. Randy Ran- y'all know that uh, you can't have shit in Detroit meme? Yeah, that's pretty much Randy Random. Pretty much. <laughs> can't have shit in RimWorld. Can't have sh People who like the losing is fun difficulty tend to roll with this guy. <laughs> but no, we'll do Adventure Storyline. Reload any time mode. And, this, uh, and another cool thing about this game is that the difficulty can be changed whenever the fuck you want. So, if you're trying Randy Random and you keep getting your ass kicked, you can go back to Classic Cassandra if you don't like it. So, also pretty cool. But anyway, I'm the last person who should be trying to do a RimWorld tutorial. If you want a good RimWorld tutorial, I'd look up Simcopter1 on YouTube. He's actually very knowledgeable about this game because he's been playing it for a long time. Anyway. Seed. Rimcom, because XCOM. Annoyed hive and a insect. What the fuck? I've never actually encountered these, because I guess I didn't get that long in in the game. And then, like, overall temperature, rainfall, normal, normal, global coverage. We'll do slightly, slightly populated.
Alrighty. Why can't I just drag it with the mouse? So y'all want to just start in the snow? And let's just start here in, on the ice. Let's just live on the ice. Fuck it. Let's just... Do a mountain start? God. I do not like the sound of that. I really don't. Yeah, let's just start in the middle of the ocean. That'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. Maybe we can start next to a river. Huge river. Do I, do I really want to start next to a mountain, though? I could always burrow into the mountain and do an underground thing. And do an under... But I am only one guy, so digging into the mountain will be hard. I'm so dig. Just thinking about maybe doing a river start. I normally stick to like dense forest because there's a lot of lots of woods in the area. There's a river near the mountain that could be a good place. I don't think I want to start next to hostile dudes, though. Fishing isn't a thing in this game, is it? <laughs> I, at least I don't think so. I've never seen an option for it. Oh, there you go. Mountains and river. But we could do water-based power, or hydropower, or whatever the fuck. Ancient Asphalt Road. Middle of nowhere, far away from any factions with water and food. Boreal Forest, Mountains, Huge River.
I don't want to deal with the harsh river, the harsh winters though, so I'll choose this temperate fortress, forest that's a little bit warmer, so. What are the factions like? I mean, I wouldn't mind living next to a trading faction, to be honest. Eh, that's a hostile faction. Ooh. Does living next to a hostile faction increase their attacks against you? It probably does, wouldn't it? Because you're like, who the fuck is this guy moving in next to us? What, who the fuck does he think he is? Me, Chuckles and Minigun. <laughs> I just hope I don't get the flu or the plague. Like, right off of the bat, and then it's like, well, it's been nice knowing you. Well, You know what? Let's just let's just pick a place, temperate forest. This is what I was gonna go with. Here we are. Starting with a good cook would be nice. Although he gets hungry fast. Capable of violent, that's not gonna happen, my dude. Capable of doctoring, that's not gonna happen. High shooting skill, though. Capable of violent. Capable of violent. Capable of artistic, that's not too... I'm not too worried about that. Four times as likely. Global learning fact strict fact blah 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 a sixteen year old lone juggernaut with a minigun steel plate armor <laughs> who was on board a infantry transport, mind you, <laughs> that crash landed at G sixteen. <laughs> but hey, decent shooting skill Decent construction, rather low medical, but we do start with some medicine. But you know what? One sand, more like one sands. Am I right? Uh, only one mining. Ugh. Oh well, I'm sure we'll get past that. But this is definitely who we're starting with. It all happened so fast. One minute, your spacebound transport is en route to a planet in need. Next, you're being boarded. Alarms blared, and it didn't take long for the captain to call in to abandon ship. You're, you were barely able to get to the escape pods as Turrent sailed the enemy off. After narrowly avoiding the enemy pod hunters, you crash land on an unknown rim world. The escape pod has some basic survival equipment, but you'll have to think fast about long term survival. And slam! What up? It's your boy, One Sands. Let's go ahead and, whoops, allow all of that. Oh, Give the bloodlust a minigun tail oldest time. Put on the mini the put on the minigun. Yes, wear the minigun. Hunter lacks range weapon. Oh don't worry. We'll get right on that. 
<laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. First order of business. First order of business. Um. Just gonna create a random dumping zone here. Allow everything. Just for the sake of getting this shit out of the water. Try to say a abridged reference but failed. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Ooh, there's a thermal vent here. That'll be good for a power situation way later. Yeah, go ahead, get that shit out of the shallow moving water. You might as well get that out of there too. I mean, it's a it's a chunk. It won't deteriorate, but alrighty, let's orders. Let's chop some wood. Ain't get chopping. Wow, that's gonna take for fucking ever. This is speed three. This is speed three wood chopping. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Yeesh, man. I can't even make blueprints without the wood. Yeesh. Yeah, I want to get this stuff roofed. Alright. Well, where the fuck you going? Alright, tough situation. Decided to get through this. Damn, you construct fast, though. That's nice. Female, age 16. 557. Okay. I never understood that second number, but I... Don't sleep on the floor. I know you don't have a bed, but we're working on it. I... But we're working on... At least get the fucking roof up. No, okay, listen, you, you need to... Oh god, I'm gonna run out of food. Oh god. At least we have some berries here. It'll be better than nothing. But prioritize getting the roof up. There. At least now your food won't go bad. Seriously. Alright, um... Next thing we're gonna wanna need is a lamp. So you at least you know see what the fuck you're doing. Actually no. Don't build it there. Let's sort of put it in that corner. Get your bed right there. Just so you know, you don't fucking sleep on the floor. I suppose you don't have to sleep on the floor. It's so good having somebody who can construct fast. There you go, one sands.
Und... Äh, This room right here is going to be the butcher room. I guess we'll <clears throat> build the room first. That's going to be the butcher room, just so... Uh... Oh god, we don't even have power. How the fuck are we going to... Keep the meals from expiring if we don't have power. Hmm. Ah! Dried and salted? You can do that? Can you do that in Rimworld? can make dried... <clears throat> Never done Rimworld? Oh. I don't think you can do that. Oh. No idea you never played this game? Uh, uh, learn by doing, I guess. Still, uh, wooden butcher table. Gonna want that eventually. Where are you going? Or at the very least, we uh, worry about harvesting those those plants. <coughs> you know what kind of helps? Door. Yeah, get the berries, because, you know... So we'll just cancel that for now until the wood actually gets into the freaking storage zone. That would be nice. Yeah, we are going to need to, uh... Yeah, at least they, at least they don't spy, expire. Construction botched, thanks. God. Mm. Need defenses. Yeah, it's called I have a fucking minigun. There. Still don't want them to deteriorate, though. Build that there so at least you're not, uh... Stuck working in the dark. I heard people don't like that. Just to remind that crap. That's speed three mining, huh? You don't prioritize eating the berries first? Really? Alright, eat the berries first, you dingus. Alright, um... Visitor from Bonzaba Covenant. 
is visiting the colony. She is named Orange Wolverine. <laughs> Interesting name, sister, but... Sure. <laughs> oh, I need steel for that? Ooh. What's up, Orange Wolverine? You will not buy any of my shit, and I don't have any... Yeah, sorry, Chief. That's steel, right? Okay, good. That's gonna take for fucking ever. That's gonna take. That steam vent's gonna be great for when we get power. No way of producing proper meals from raw food. Build a stove, campfire, or nutrient dispenser. I can. You can make stuff at a campfire? Cooks meals and produces heat. Burns out after a few days. As all heat sources must be placed indoors. So it has a closed space to heat. Oh. Why are you telling me about cover and shooting? Am I about to be raided? Well, I don't need it as a food source. Yeah, that's only if I wanted to actually heat something. Oh my god, they gave me something. Thanks. Uh Span the zone, I guess. Probably shouldn't be sleeping in there with all the components because of the beauty factor. A squirrel has gone mad. Where's that little shit?
What? Where, where, where did the squirrel go? Where? Where's that gaggle fuck at? Where's the? Oh shit! Get his ass! Cut his ass down! <laughs> One single shot is all we got. Nice. Nice. <laughs> How about you prioritize getting that, you know, bush there, so... Oh my god. There's some wild healer rig around here we can also grab. Oh, we can actually start with power. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, I'm gonna cancel that stuff. Oh, great. Yeah, we need, we just need two components for that, which I don't have. All oh, right, that shit spoils. I mean, not for a few years, but
Just looking around to see. meditation going on. Yeah, food is going to probably be the uh, most annoying thing about this start. So we could technically cook meals with that. Oh, it's spoiled in four days. And then we have this motherfucker over here. We're looking to pick a fight. And then we have this. Really? Really? Ugh. a minigun. You can just gun anybody down who looks at you the wrong way. Alright, so they're beginning their assault. Alright. So where the fuck is this guy coming from? He's going all the way around the top. All right, girl, get his ass. Oh, fuck, you missed. Get his ass, get his ass. Oh, come on, what the fuck? No. Oh, unfucking believable. Alright, it looks like we have to load the save. That's my only colonist. That's my only col- <sighs> Bring a minigun, he said. It'd be fine, he said. First raid rip. Yeah, no kidding. It's like, girl, you have a mini gun. Just don't stop firing until he's dead. <laughs> well, 
Why the fuck you got a fire and bursts? Why the f Clearly only has a belt of ten bullets before it needs a new one. Yeah, it's like, hang on, hang on, I, I only have a magazine capacity of ten. I only have... That's one giant fucking mega sloth looking dude. At the very least, throw that inside so it doesn't frickin' spoil. Listen, woman. It's just a dude with a club. You have a fucking minigun. Just in case. Yeah, 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 I know I have low food, brother. The dude has a freaking club. You have a minigun. Where the fuck is he? Up there. You don't really need to take cover, but just take cover for the fuck of it, I guess. As soon as you see that motherfucker go to cross the river, you open up. You hit him once. He's bleeding. He's bleeding some more. You almost got him. One more good burst to do him in. Alright, alright. Run away a little bit. Run away a little bit. Get, get behind the tree. He walking slow because of the, uh, because of the water. Good job, brother. Or sister, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just just keep shooting. You you need you you need the target practice. Just, just gun him down. Oh my god, he's bleeding on the ground. You just. just Dead in two hours. Good job. Oh, 
Oh my god! I forgot you're like a psycho, so you get a fucking... Yeah, hmm. You get a mood buff when you freaking merc someone. Yeah, you, uh... Comfortable. Need something to soft to sit on? No, don't consume him, you fucking idiot. Don't consume. You may be a psychopath, but you're not a. You're you're not a fucking cannibal. Just bury the guy. If he was a cannibal, I'd use him for food. <laughs> Lance minus two. <sighs> but good job, you got him. Is there any compacted machinery around I can get a uh, component or two out of, perhaps? There's a lot of steel around here, which is nice. No compacted steel. You got a soft body in the river, go sit on that. I mean, he's not wrong. I still can't believe she gets a rush from killing people. Oh, right, uh, we need a fucking table for you to eat on, Chief. Why do you only have one colonist? Cause it's part of the uh... Part of the, what do you call it? The uh... Scenario I built. You're a lone survivor of a uh, high-tech infantry transport ship. That you narrowly escaped. From in a, an escape pod and now you're stuck out on your own.
should not have started putting the graves here, to be honest. Here, I'll build just simply a bigger storage area here, I guess. Maybe I can use this little building as like a corpse storage when I just finally get, you know, some power rolling. Go buy, find, or kill some food. Mega Scarab, what the f Oh my god, it's INSECTS! Not actually a spider. The Mega Spider is genetically engineered giant insectoid the size of a bear. Designed for heavy work and it's com in combat, it's thick something armor makes it hard to kill, while its razor sharp blades makes it deadly at close quarters. Is this, however, quite slow and open terrain? Oh shit dot JPEG. Hive of giant insects is activated, it will spawn additional eight sex and hives over time. Oh shit dot JPEG. Extremely unappetizing. Yeah, I bet. Medium sized bioengineered insectoid with the size of a sheep. It'll 
cast of a hive taking care of most of the work tasks as well as fighting with its digging claws. It's dangerous in combat but slow on open ground. Imagine building up our own fucking... Imagine taming these things <laughs> and fucking... Ooh, we have compacted steel down here, but you'll have to... You'll have to... Mess... Mess with these things. That bomb rat's playing a dangerous game down there. Buddy, don't do it! Don't do it, man! those things. At least for now. Ooh. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Well, not me, but my my dude. For now, we'll, we'll cancel those. Because we do kind of need to build that other room. Oh my god, components! Bro! Nice! this zone and delete that zone at least now our food and medicine won't just you know go out You should probably actually, like...
All right. Ugh. This is my favorite track in the game, by the way. Okay, you have a meal on you, that's fine. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store enough food to survive. You can build a walk-in freezer to prevent food from spoiling. Buy steel or make some parkas, or you'll freeze when you step outside. Oof, 90 steel. Yeah, this is probably going to be my makeshift food storage. What do you mean, no medicine left in storage? Whatever you do, don't botch it. Thank you. Allow food. Chunks of a spacecraft that has landed nearby and medicine. No food and no medicine for you.
At least now, whatever I produce won't go bad. Slaver from the Bonsai Covenant is approaching. They are a slaver. Hey, yeah, that's what I need. You know what? Food is food. Ah, never mind. I can't afford any of that. If I get like 60. Oops. Oi! It's enough to get me by, at least. <laughs> Plants level three! Alright, slowly but surely we're getting somewhere. Uh, sorry, brother. I barely have the stuff to handle myself. If you want, I will build a grave for you. Or when you eventually, you know, kick the bucket and all that. Caravan's leaving, that's fine. <laughs> Hunting with a fucking minigun. Got him.
Oh, a lot of corpses in there too. Who the fuck's that rabbit again? God damn it, I missed it. Get another bed. Hey, y'all see that hair I shot? Dead. Oh, there it is. I just don't want that guy going bad on me, you know? He's my next meal. Don't need the chair, you need the fucking table. Uh oh. No, it's fucking damn it. There, that's good enough for now. What? That should be enough wood, what the fuck? No, don't eat it raw, you dumbass! Good lord, okay. Good god, you were about to eat that shit raw and I fucking stopped you. Thank god I did. Okay, we're fine.
Need you to minigun down another hair. Alright. No, don't go down there! Okay, cancel that. We will not be hunting that hare. Instead, we'll be hunting this turkey. Gotcha. Listen, I know you're tired, but you kind of need to live. And you need food to live. I'm only trying to help. I hate you can rest after you get some food in your goddamn st Oh, God damn it. Uh Odin help me. But I heard death is fun. Death is fun when she's killing other people. Not when she's the one getting clapped. There. That should Odin shall help you die. Listen, she's about to kill someone. That should help her feel better, alright? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay! Hey, what's up? How you doing? I have a minigun, fuck off. God damn it. No, 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 If you can get across the river faster than she can... Uh... Yes! Okay! This is really dumb. Yes, get a head start. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Okay. We did it, boys. Barely. It's a lot of our medicine used up already, though. Quality zero. Ugh. Three point two. Oh shit, you actually have hypothermia. Shit, dude. That fucking sucks. Of course.
You're not dead yet? Oh, I guess you're just not gonna- Oh my god, really? No! No! Fuck, alright, that's a reload. Alright, you got this. Oh, fuck yes! Way better! Why can't I... Oh, right. <laughs> I need to get you out of that. And look at that. You killed someone. Now you're happy. Just get that out of there. What you doing? Going for a walk. Fair enough. Still pretty low on food. Yeah, let's go ahead and hunt these two alpacas way up there. Never mind! Oh, don't you dare. Thank you. I was about to say, if you die to a mad squirrel, I swear to God. And there you go. Look at that. Actually, while you're there, go ahead and haul that crap out of there. Are. Oh, 
who knows if a bulk good trader comes in comes around we may be able to uh we may be able to sell off our light leather that fucking slag chunk out of there too I'm gonna turn this into one big room. Can't even make it over there. Either that or they went off the map. I think they just went off the map. Just take the easy kill closer to home. Food poisoning! Yay! Dude. Oh boy. Handy. With a steel freaking club. What? No. Oh shit, that guy got killed! That guy got killed by the fucking mega spider thing! Great, thanks, Chief! Wild man wanders in. Alright, have fun dying to the fucking scarabs. Can I tame the wild man? No. Can you acquire more colonists, or does your scenario allow multiple? I can get multiple. 
I can get multiple, it's just... I don't have the means of doing that right now, because I'm barely feeding myself right now, you know? Because I can recruit prisoners, or I can buy s from the slaver, here. But I don't have the money to buy from the slaver, right now. I don't have the money to buy slaves right now, because money, quote-unquote, in this game is technically just silver. Okay, for now I'm gonna cancel that, so you can actually, you know, trade with the bro. Uh, huh. Yeah, I cannot buy even one of those. Unless I sell a component, which I kinda don't wanna do. <sighs> Cause, I mean, these slaves cost a lot, right? So I can't really, I can't afford to buy that right now. And I, I can recruit from prisoners, but I need a prison room, and I need to feed them, and care for them, and all that stuff. And I can't exactly do that. There is a way of acquiring more colonists, but I just don't have the means to right now. The fuck? I mean, if you're not gonna use those, yoink! If you're not gonna use, <gasps> yoink! <laughs> I just fucking took the meals, and they're just leaving this person here to die. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean... I could technically build a quick room <laughs> and capture her. Bruh! Ah, well, you know, you're not gonna use that. I could sell that to a war merchant if we ever get one to spawn. That's amazing. Now I'm starting to actually get some decent meat. Wait, where'd she go? Did she just get up and leave? I think she, like, healed over time. It wasn't that bad of injuries, so...
All right. What is this dude doing? All he does is sleep, eat, and cook. He's surviving. That's what he's doing. It is a lot, progress is a lot faster when you have more than one person, but I guess you could say I wanted a challenge, so. I wanted a challenge, but considering I am only one person, I will save and load if I go down, because there's no one to save me. Group are passing by. Now another he's cleaning up a little bit. You gotta have fun. I gotta get some sleep. All right, I'll be uh, I'll be ending the stream in a sh short while as well. I do still have to work tomorrow. Transport pod crash. I don't have time for that. Need warm clothes. I'll probably get this tailoring bench online and then we'll call it. It's already almost 12.30 and then work at 11 tomorrow. Wormworld just sucks the end, man. It's already been almost two hours.
construction level 9. Nice. Quest active. Uh, stasher supplies, I don't really... <clears throat> those stashers aren't really worthwhile at all, to be honest. So as I said, I do need to go to bed, so it's better to stop now before I say, oh, one more thing, and then I'm like, you know, three hours in, and it's like three o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here for the day. Thank you all for watching. Delete all my old saves so they don't clog up. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Lurkers followers, those of you on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.